Hi, I'm Chris from Theme Park to Table, cooking up theme park recipes here in my kitchen. Today, we're gonna continue our 12 days of theme park treats. We are on day four, and today we're doing, I've got this one written down because it's a mouthful, from Disneyland Festival of the Holidays, California Adventures, Making the Spirits Bright Festival, the Cinnamon Sugar Holiday Tart. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, so <laughs> I have in front of me um, some already made pie crust that we're gonna use for this. Um, traditionally, these are cut into rectangles and served. I thought it'd be fun if we cut them into Mickey's, so we're gonna do some Mickey's today instead. We're gonna start by making the filling. I have brown sugar here. I have flour. I have cinnamon. I have vanilla. And I have some melted butter. We are just gonna combine all of this stuff together. I think the spoon will work better. And we're gonna make this, I'm assuming, into a paste. This is not a treat that I've personally tried or had, but it looks delicious. The pictures I saw look delicious. Reading the recipe, it sounds like it'll be delicious, um, but I'm unsure. <laughs> I guess only time will tell. If this is something you've tried in a park, I would love to hear about it. I know they do different variations. I know that at Woody's Lunchbox, I think they do an apple pie version in Disney World that's just every day and not for the holiday and the seasonal festivities. So I would love to hear about it. I'm just gonna work on trying to get this all incorporated in. I'm thinking we don't probably want a lot of loose brown sugar granules floating around. So I'm gonna work on getting those kind of just mashed in. Okay. That seems like it's all pretty moist and ready to go. So now we're just gonna take this and we're gonna cut up some Mickey's. I also think the benefit to using a cookie cutter for this is I know for sure that my tops and bottoms are gonna be exactly the same size. And if I was to, if I was to hand cut them, I'm not sure that they would match. So I just have already pre-made pie crust that I've rolled out, unrolled from the tube, looked like this before. And I'm just gonna make a few little Mickeys. This one I'll put off the side. I will roll that out again later and probably make some more, but for right now, I'm gonna get a few of these guys going. Figure we'll do four and see how they come out. So if we're doing four, we need to cut out eight Mickeys. We need a top and a bottom for everybody. So one, two, three, four. The only thing I'm unsure with the Mickeys is how the filling is gonna work inside of them. I don't know if it'll work as well as it would with a rectangle, but it will certainly be cute. So we're going to put just a little bit of filling in the middle, just a little bit up on the ears. I'm going to try to keep it towards the center. We do have to put a little bit of an egg wash around the edges to get it to kind of seal. I pulled out a pastry brush. The recipe I read actually said to use your finger for the egg wash, and I was thinking the pastry brush would probably be better, but now that I'm looking at how small the edges are, I see why they probably tell you to use your finger. And I probably will use their advice and actually use my finger for that part. Okay. Last little guy. And now we're just gonna dip and go quickly around the edges with us. Not gonna be super fussy, just need it to seal. I'm gonna move the filling in a little bit. I did wash my hands before I started baking. I always wash my hands when I come to the kitchen first thing and usually several times throughout. So my hands are clean. One more little guy to do. Getting some cinnamon and sugar on the egg. I can't imagine that's gonna hurt anything. I 
can't imagine trying to get this done without having a little something in the egg because the filling kind of goes everywhere when you put it in. I am gonna give my give a quick rinse to dry before we move on to popping the tops on. We're gonna line up our Mickeys the best we can. Press them down. Little guys out. Then I'm going to just go around the edges quick with a little fork, kind of like you would do with a pie, and just kind of make sure that these are that these are sealed up. So I'm going to continue sealing these, and then when I'm done, these have to go in the freezer for about 20 minutes before we can bake them. So I will see you back here when I pull them out of the freezer so we can put them in the oven. I'll see you in a few. Welcome back. Our Mickey cinnamon holiday tarts have come out of the freezer. I have to poke some holes in them before we put them in, which I probably really should have done before I put them in the freezer, but to be very honest, I forgot. So we're just gonna put one little set of holes on top of each of them. And now we're gonna take this baking sheet and we're gonna put it in the oven and it's going to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. And then when that's done, I'll see you back here again. And we'll finish up. We'll do a little drizzle for them and we'll finish them up. Let's get these in the oven. I'm going to set my timer for 15. And I'll check them then. And I'll see you guys back here real soon. Welcome back. Our Mickey tarts should be ready to come out of the oven. Let's grab those out. Oh, they look delicious. Look at those pretty little Mickeys. Set them there. I'm gonna spin them in one second. Okay. While those sit for a couple of minutes, we're gonna make the icing that's gonna go on top of them. I have in front of me some confectioner sugar. I have cinnamon and I have some vanilla. I also have some milk. There is no milk in this recipe written as is, but when I look at the amount of liquid to the amount of powdered sugar, I can't imagine that this is actually gonna become a smooth frosting based on that. So I just went ahead and got some milk, anticipating from past frosting making that we're gonna need it. And I'm gonna say it was probably a good call because that is not gonna form any kind of icing. It's just kind of forming little snowballs. So we're gonna just pour. I'm gonna go real slow with this. We're just gonna incorporate it until it looks like a spreadable frosting. We don't wanna to put too much in because we do want the frosting to set and dry on the Mickeys. But at the same time, it needs to be spreadable. Oh, a little poof. I can't work with powdered sugar without having a little poofs here and there. Okay. We're starting to come together a little bit now, looking a bit more like something that's spreadable. Still very, very thick. I'm trying to mash out some of the powdered sugar clumps as we go to. Some of that is a product of not having enough liquid added in right away but it's nothing that we can't just stir and work out. So we're just gonna keep on stirring. It's not the easiest mixture to stir. It's kind of like stirring a very thick paste. And I'm gonna kind of use the back of my spatula to push down and try to break up some of that sugar because we don't want clumps of confectioner sugar and our delicious cinnamon for icing. We're getting pretty close to good. I don't think I'm gonna add any more milk in. Just for reference, I added about, a, mm, just shy of a quarter cup of milk to this. I would say if you're doing it, add it slowly, humidity and elevation can make a difference. So just go slow. Okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Gonna grab our 
spatula and we're just gonna spread. They're a little bit warm. <laughs> Be careful touching them, but they're kind of sliding everywhere if I don't. But just a little bit more on this guy's ear. The frosting's a little bit runny. If these were a little bit cooler, probably would not be as big of a deal. I'm just gonna do two of the frosting and then I'm gonna put some sprinkles on them and then I will do the rest later. I don't think you need to watch me do all of them. We're gonna get this guy with a few cute little balls. And then we'll do this one with some little sprinkles and trees. Let's see if I can get a couple more of these little guys to stick on there. They like to kind of jump off because they're so big and heavy. And there you have it, Disneyland's Cinnamon Sugar Holiday Tart. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.